As you're viewing this tutorial, take a look around and I'm sure you'll notice that wherever you're at, you'll find a printed barcode on something. It may be on a book, on a food or beverage item, on a mail piece, or even on a document. This is how commonplace barcode technology has become. The industrial use of barcodes can be traced back as far as the 1960s in some cases as a means to identify railroad cars. In the early 1970s, common linear barcodes such as UPC were used to automate the process of identifying grocery items. Today, barcodes are just about everywhere and are used for identification in almost all fields of business. When barcode technology is used in business processes, procedures are automated to increase productivity and reduce human error. Barcoding should be used whenever there is a need to accurately identify or track something. A barcode type, known as a symbology, is a protocol for arranging bars and spaces that make up a particular kind of barcode, such as code 128, code 39, data matrix, and QR code. There are two major types of barcodes, linear barcodes and two-dimensional barcodes. Linear barcodes are more common. It may be a UPC barcode on a canned item or a code 39 barcode on a name badge. Some of the more common linear barcode types include code 128, UPC, code 39, and data bar. Two-dimensional barcodes are square or rectangular shaped barcodes and can hold much more data than linear barcodes. Some can hold up to 1300 characters and require a 2D barcode scanner to scan them. With the same amount of data, a 2D barcode will produce a much smaller barcode than a linear barcode. Some 2D barcode symbologies include data matrix, QR code, PDF-417, Aztec, and maxi code. Once a symbology or standard in a symbology has been selected, then you must decide on the barcode type to use. In order to decide the best barcode type to use, you must consider the application that will be used to create a barcode, flexibility of the barcode product, whether you want to use it in multiple environments, and compatibility, which can include operating system and application compatibility. There are three major types of barcode products, barcode fonts, barcode components, and barcode applications. Fonts. Barcodes can be created using barcode fonts similar to Times New Roman or Arial. However, unlike Times New Roman and Arial, barcode fonts require special formatting so that when the barcode font is applied, it will be scannable. This is true for most barcode symbologies with the exception of Code 39 and a few others. Formatting the data can involve adding start and stop characters or a check digit to format the data or by manipulating the data so that when it is interleaved into a smaller barcode, uh, the barcode font can understand it. Components Barcodes can be created using components such as an ActiveX control, a .NET Forms control, or a Java component. These components work as a cog in an application to create barcodes as an image. They may be linear or 2D barcodes. Barcode components are best used for developers with programming experience that intend to develop applications. Components do not require a font tool to encode the data as the encoding and the creation of the barcode is done using one file that may be in the form of a DLL. Applications Barcodes can be created using standalone applications. They are the most user friendly of the three and they allow you to quickly create many barcodes. An application, like a component, does not require a tool to format the data to the barcode as the application will generate an image of the barcode. Using an application, a series of steps can be performed to generate a barcode. 